It is an unusual competition for cleanliness that has gripped communities in Himachal Pradesh. Rapa Kashyap is a village president who is proud of a new accomplishment, a village free of opalification. The government has given us this trophy and a cash prize. My community has ended the practice of open defecation. In our community, all people have built toilets for themselves and all of them are using the toilets. So after observing the success, the government of India picked us as a winner. Jassi Ram Thi lives with his son Tula Ram Dihaman in a modest home. They can afford neither a TV nor a cell phone. But they are building a toilet because the community took charge and motivated households to install toilets. Those who did not install toilets would quickly feel the peer pressure. Those who own a toilet save time. The people who own toilets will not get sick. If you don't have a toilet, you will feel embarrassed because people talk about it. You will also have a problem when guests visit. Your guests would need to go outside in the open. But a lot of people don't do that anymore. Not having a toilet can become a problem. Changing a traditional lifestyle in remote communities takes good arguments. Visits by outside experts have helped to drive down the message, giving explanations and delivering good arguments, which has given village councils more credibility when pushing sanitation goals. Our village council had a resolution that all of us should have toilets. A team of specialists came to visit. They told us that the dirty environment is dangerous. It affects the children and we ourselves fall sick. To protect ourselves from diseases, we built the toilets. So now, we are all not ill. Our toilets are clean and we are also clean. Now there are no diseases. There is no dirtiness here. The government's incentive program did not only create competition among communities. The villagers themselves started to compete, eager to gain status and respect. Nowadays, toilets are considered to be very important for ourselves and our guests. It has become a prestige issue for me to have the cleanest toilet of all, so that my guests and family members have no problems. Now, toilets have become very important, more so than TVs, VCRs, cars or other vehicles. Total sanitation in Himachal Pradesh, it has also become a larger environmental issue. Keeping villages clean of human waste and trash. Steep fines have helped to change people's behavior. If you want to impress your people and motivate them, then you should do this through the ward members. Gather the people in groups and tell them that nowadays it is essential to have a toilet. Having no toilets creates a lot of problems. Going out in the open can be dangerous. In the rainy season, there is a lot of grass where poisonous insects, snakes and scorpions hide. Secondly, if we go out in the open, then the entire environment gets polluted. The waste will spread, dirtiness will spread, the flies and mosquitoes will sit on the feces, and the same flies and mosquitoes can bring bacteria back to us. They can sit on our food. But these concerns don't exist anymore in Repa's village. Wherever you look these days, everybody here owns a toilet, making it 100% clean. The competition, held on different levels, has paid off for many communities. J. Gopal Sharma, a former Gram Panchayat president, has seen his village getting motivated by the dynamic price scheme. All the people from a village have worked a lot for the Maharshi Valmiki Puraskar Yojana Prize. This resulted in our Gram Panchayat winning first place in 2009. This motivated all the people from the village to work even harder. The women's group, youth groups and the past presidents, essentially everyone from the village worked hard. In 2011-2012, we got a cash prize of 10 lakhs from the respective chief minister. We also received 5 lakhs under the Gram Purushkar Yojana initiative in that year.
और अटल आदर्श ग्राम पुरस्कार योजना के तहत हमें पांच लाख का पुरस्कार मिला है ये पीपल रियलाइज सेनेटेशन पेज ऑफ इन मेनी वेज The campaign even teaches how to save money by using waste as a resource. Simple biogas plants built with concrete and plastic pipes can convert cow dung or human waste into cooking gas. But for this massive campaign to gain momentum, the message had to be constantly reinforced. Blending information with entertainment. We had a drama group with songs about our campaign. The message was delivered through these songs. We also performed plays, dramas in a simple language which people could understand easily. We had stories like this one. One of the characters wants to defecate, but there is no toilet nearby. So he chooses to go out in the open. But later, a woman and her child are walking through the same area. The child loses a chapati. She picks it up from the road and eats it. The objective was to show them that our own feces can enter our stomachs again. Most families can afford to build a toilet despite their modest income. The argument that the investment in a toilet reduces medical bills usually resonates. Money is not a real issue. If a person wants to build a toilet, even if that person is among the poorest of the four, they will still build one. It offers increased convenience. It saves you from diseases. It is a matter of prestige for us. If someone is convinced about the benefits, then money is not a problem. Also, people build the toilets themselves. Even a small income doesn't mean they could not build a toilet. Porcelain toilets cost less than five U.S. dollars in stores across India. The cost for the surrounding structure varies with choice of material. The results of the campaign are already being noticed in hospitals and doctors' offices. Before the sanitation drive, we saw a lot of people coming in vomiting people with diarrhea, cholera, black cough, and such horrible diseases. The people defecated in the open and contaminated the water which they used for drinking. So whatever bacteria and insects were there, they caused fatal diseases. Now communicable diseases such as polio, hepatitis, cholera, or diarrhea are down. But the picture is different for India as a whole. India's 2011 census counted 53% of households are still without a latrine or toilet. Despite years of campaigning, it is still a long path towards total sanitation.